Hi, Easy here. Welcome to my quick tip video on diving. Uh, there's multiple activities that you can do while sailing in Lost Ark, and one of them is partaking in the diving activity. Diving is a very simple thing to do, and the reason why I recommend it over other uh, activities is because it mostly rewards you with pirate coins. Pirate coins are an important currency that you must have in order to get accessories uh, from the Pirate Village Atlas as well as some uh, crew members and all the other things that involve pirate coins. Uh, so you always want to have at least a couple thousand if not more in your stock and diving can get you a ton of them in a very short amount of time. And the reason why I'm making this video now is because on the December 19th patch, diving, fishing, uh, any, any sailing activity all got buffed so that it now requires less time to get the same amount of rewards. So this is a really good time to be able to do this and here's how you can get started. It's very simple. All you have to do is come to Vern. So I'm in the middle of the continent, Vern. And you talk to this NPC right here. This NPC doesn't move. He's always here. So you don't have to worry about coming at a, at a specific time. He is the first NPC or the first crew member you, that you can buy here. And he is 500 pirate coins. So you should have 500 pirate coins. If you don't, uh, you can use the lower rank fishing or lower, lower rank diving, whatever you want to do to get the pirate coins. Uh, but it's fairly straightforward. Just get, just get this guy, put him in a boat. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, I generally use Barkstorm because my favorite place to go to is in the frozen zone up in Shushire. But there's also other places that you can go to as well. But generally I use Barkstorm because uh, Barkstorm also has uh, shipwreck by default. So I use Barkstorm and I also use uh, this guy. Now, you don't have to use this guy, you can just use uh, Ahu. What you are looking for is this passive that increases your uh, dive distance by 35 meters. Um, so Nemon will allow you to get purple nodes and uh, Ahu will allow you to get uh, 35 more meters on your dive so that it's a little bit more consistent because I don't know why but he, does, he sometimes just fails a lot of even the like green nodes so having that extra consistency with extra dive meter uh, can really help out in terms of efficiency so once you have these two guys on board all you need to do is go all go either all the way up here in Shushire uh, near Shushire in the frozen sea and there's a repair repair station right here so you don't have to worry about crashing un unless you uh, miscalculate your durability but you, all you need to do is just go here uh, look for different dive spots uh, and just dive that's all you need to do uh, what kind of rewards you can get are like I mentioned pirate coins you can also get these treasure maps that reward you with acrosiums right and this is even more important when you're above item level 400 because you can get acrosium twos on a pretty consistent basis. So I already have two maps and uh, I've only spent about one bar of luck. I also have things like uh, cards, uh, upgrade plans. Uh, these are all the things that I got from diving. I also got these nine of these room boxes using half half my luck bar. That's a really good amount uh, can, and, and can really help you with some of the difficult to get runes such as stun immunity for Beartooth uh, and Lebanos. And you can also get um, these uh, rune related currency that can help you unlock rune slots and change rune colors and stuff like that. So always, always, always you want to use up your luck. Don't let it go to full. You're missing out on a lot of material and a lot of currency that you can have uh, that is otherwise just completely wasted if you're not using it. So let me show you the diving point. It looks like this. It's got this little orb and the watcher's eye above it. And the animation is quite long, but because they increase the amount of luck you spend and increase the amount of rewards that you get proportionately, you don't have to worry about um, spending hours on end. I, I probably spent about 15 minutes and used up all of my luck uh, from half from like 50, 60%. So at most, it's gonna take you about 45 minutes, uh, 45 minutes. There's also if you if you don't really if you don't have time, there's also a ship member that can increase the amount of luck you spend by times three, 
and decrease the amount of uh, or increase the amount of luck you spend and increase the amount of rewards that you get so it increases the luck you spend by three and it increases the rewards you get by two so it's not as efficient it's you're not going to get as much but it allows you to spend your luck so that might be something you want to look at if you don't have as much time in the day but 100 percent you want to you want to use up your luck because it's going to get you items that will help you progress your character so here's an example of a dive okay i want to go down and the amount it dives is kind of random it's within a range and that's why we have both Nimon and Ahu so that we can help Nimon get down further so like I said here's an example we just got pirate coins and another rune box so it's a really good way to get um, important runes it's a really good way to get important uh, pirate coins as well as treasure maps that can reward you with crossium don't miss out on doing this this is really important it's really simple to set up all you need to do is get Nimon and you already have Ahu so there you go I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys enjoyed the quick tip and I'll see you guys next time bye bye